Hello everyone, it's me, Juan Gamer 4 back in another video. Today, word on the, on the web says that FNAF Help Wanted 2 is coming out in VR on December 14th, on a Thursday. So with three days left on the clock, I want to predict slash leave some ideas in the air before the sequel is upon us all. Will I be right or will I be wrong? How much time you got? Let's begin. We're just going to go straight past this. So we start by taking a look at Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2 tre teaser, but noticeably I see something which starts the theory that I want to talk about. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Theory number one, we're playing as Cassie's father in Help Wanted 2. Why do I say this? Well, let's... Let's look over over here, shall we? You see this right here? Doesn't that remind you of something? Like you've seen it before? I certainly have. It's one of those puzzles we encounter in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin. A game that, let's be honest, that's where we know that Cassie does indeed have a father. Now I know, I know, I know. That's not, that's not, that's kind of weak evidence, just because, you know, just because Cassie, just because Cassie's seen this, we're saying, oh, so it must be her father. Well, not to worry, I got more. We have been told about Cassie's father by Cassie herself. Every time we get an object, a VR item or whatnot, there's always a passing mention about her father. We also know that Cassie's father is a worker of Fazbear Entertainment and has a close connection to it considering that she, he also has that uh, lunchbox that looks pretty old. Now, I'm not trying to say that I'm 100% on the theory that, you know, Cassie's father could potentially be the Bonnie bully like Matt Pat suggested, but, you know... It's interesting that he's collecting stuff about Fast Bear Entertainment. But really think about this, what I'm saying. We got someone who is a worker of Fast Bear Entertainment and has connections to Fast Bear Entertainment. So already that's someone, that's already like a, that's a pretty good protagonist to follow in the games. Plus... It wouldn't be the first time we have fathers in help in FNAF. Or to be more precise, this isn't have this hasn't been the first time a father wasn't a main attraction to Five Nights at Freddy as a whole. We got Henry who who made the animatronics, and he is the father of Charlie and Sammy Lee, and Sammy Emily. Yes, I'm still bringing up Sammy because I do believe that Sammy one day will be in FNAF. Like, FNAF's gonna pull him from the books to the games, just like his father before him. And we don't even need to go into William. Everyone and their mamas know what he did. And also, there's a theme about fathers in, in the books, mainly Fazbear Frights. So I wouldn't really ignore the possibility of Cassie's father being in the picture. This next theory is plausible and honestly I feel like it might happen theory number two it's Vanessa <sighs> look I get it no one wants to talk about game Vanessa because let's be honest everyone prefers movie Vanessa movie Vanessa is clearly better than game Vanessa But there is a reason why we have to take into consideration that Vanessa could be our protagonist. Timeline placement. We know that Vanessa got corrupted during the events of Help Wanted or essentially it's, you know, it's phone version where we got the princess quest. We also know from the secret ending of Help Wanted shows us that the Pizzaplex is being made around the same time Help Wanted is in development. 
Help Wanted in Game was being published. So, that's already that. We also know from the trailers that we are getting to be in the Pizza Plex. We're going to be in the Pizza Plex since we saw Roxanne Wolf. And also the staff bots. And as well as Moondrop. So, already, those are things that we can't overlook at this point. So, what I'm trying to say is that the events of Help Wanted 2, the sequel, needs to happen after the events of Help Wanted 1, as well as its DLC, The Curse of Dreadbear, but before the events of Security Breach and Ruin. Plus, I wouldn't be surprised if in this game we are collecting supplies. Kind of like how we're collecting tapes. Why do I say supplies? Well, to make the Vanny persona. Either the mask only, or I guess the whole suit. I wouldn't mind both, but I'm pretty sure it might be the mask. I mainly say this because of the Vanny mask in Security Breach. It's very noticeably different from the one we got in in Corn Maze and Help Wanted 1 during the Curse of Dreadbeard DLC. I was willing to overlook this design, really, I really am, but we saw the OG mask showing back up again in Ruin, so I think the mask that Cassie winds up using is Mask Zero. It's the starting point. It's the, whole, it's the mask that started this whole new age of FNAF. And the one Vanessa's wearing, as she's wearing the, you know, the, Vanet, the Vanny persona, is a more lesser, weaker one. I mean, it still holds properties like, you know, seeing the VR world and all that. But mainly, it's just, it's mainly, its main purpose is to have Glitchtrap keep tabs on his little relentless follower. So there might be a chance we could be playing as Vanessa in Help Wanted 2, continuing his, continuing the corruption that she is unfortunately going to have. I saved the last one for last. And I saved this one because this one is a bit far-fetched, and I'll be honest, I don't know what was I thinking writing this, but I kind of want to leave it out there. So, I'm going to just say it. Theory number three, Cassie is the protagonist. So, how is Cassie our protagonist in Help Wanted 2? Is it because of the, you know, the whole puzzle of the elevator shaft? Could Help Wanted 2 be in Cassie's head as she's, like, you know, falling? Like, at, in her final moments, she's just playing this? Well, I mean, it's a possibility. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, like, Cassie's been seeing, real, being real, seeing reality differently. So, I wouldn't put it past. But, what I am proposing, what if Cassie is the protagonist of Help Wanted 2, but she's not in her own body? What if Cassie is seeing Vanessa's memories? I know, I know, but think about it. We know that Cassie, and by association Vanny, wore the same mask that caused reality to mix up. It's been proved by the extended lore of Five Nights at Freddy's, aka mainly Fazbear Frights, that people can see other people's memories, like Detective Larson in Fazbear Frights. Now look, I know. I know, that's a bit of a far fetch. I know the situation of Larson is not one-to-one -one with this theory that I'm proposing. But it does show that people can see glimpses of other people's memories. The mask could be a perfect scapegoat to bring that factor to the games. But again, this is one of those theories I had in the back of my head. And like, if I don't say it outright, I'm just going to keep having it. In the back of my head. And I wouldn't stop thinking about it. But. I'm not really sure Cassie's going to be seeing. You know the things Vanessa's seeing. 
Although it would be crazy to say it would be crazy if Hell One and Two actually is about Cassie seeing Vanessa, Vanessa's memories, and seeing the corruption happening to herself. That would be crazy, and I will throw myself in the cold, with no jacket and no nothing, just flop into the biggest snow pile ever. I don't care if I get sick. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow theorists. Two big theories and one half big one. Am I right or am I wrong? Are we going to see Cassie's father being the protagonist and we know what happens to him? Is this a, is this a continuation of Vanessa's road of corruption as we now see her as the, the follower she is and help wanted? Or is this, you know, just a crazy storyline of Cassie seeing Vanessa's memories? Seeing her becoming corrupted? And in the end of the game, we get to see that Cassie is alive. She survived the Mimic's drop, or I guess Gregory's drop, elevator scheme. And now she's planning to go out and, you know, we'll be back in an upcoming sequel or something. Will I be right or will I be wrong with those things? I guess we'll have to wait Thursday to find out. This has been Juan Gamer 54 Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys next time.